to Tea Time with Aloha and Coco. I'm Vicki. If you're new around here, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to be part of the Tea Time family. Guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. And today we have a Get to Know Me Christmas edition video. I have been dying to do one of these videos where it's like a Q&A Get to Know Me. For many years, I'm I've just always been very like skeptical about making it. I don't know why. It's kind of those things that you want to do and you just don't get around to doing it for whatever reason. But today is the day I'm going to do a Q&A. And I'm very excited about it because there's a lot of questions in here that I feel like people may not know about me. And I, and I think it's a lot of fun. So anywho, let's get started. Now, I have to kind of roll with these questions quickly because Here's the thing, I'm a talker and I can talk your ear off. I could literally talk for 45 minutes straight and not notice. So I'm just gonna jump into the questions because that way it doesn't give me too much time to ramble on and on. So let's jump to question number one. Question number one, how am I spending Christmas? The same way I do every year with my entire family. We all get together and we basically um, do everything together for the whole Christmas time um we wake up we have breakfast together we go out together we go shopping together it's it's really like one of those movies like that you see the whole family get together and everybody's just like going from point a to point b together that's how we spend christmas always together and i couldn't have it any other way i'm very excited about it question number two give or receive gifts i am for sure for sure obsessed with giving gifts i love giving gifts way more than i like receiving them although i do like getting gifts like i don't think that anybody out there is for real if they say no no, no i don't you know i don't really care no i think everybody cares receiving gifts you're gonna be upset if you wake up christmas morning and you don't have something from somebody that you gave something to for sure like for sure for sure um however i do enjoy studying people i, I love studying people what they like what they don't like i observe people a lot sometimes i'm quiet i'm just like my daughter aloha who will look at you and she'll study you for like forever and then she'll pop out and say well why did you say that if that's not what you said 20 minutes ago and like she studies a person i do the same so when i give gifts it's like tear jerker gifts like i love giving gifts that mean something really deep gifts i love that so i'm definitely a gifter for sure question number three what is my favorite christmas memory okay so i'm going to date this back to the time where i was maybe nine um i'll never forget it so i was obsessed with furby I wanted a Furby so bad and I know exactly the Furby I wanted. It was a Furby that was gray with black polka dots and a pink tummy. I was obsessed with that Furby. I begged my parents for Furby and I said, that's the only thing I want for Christmas. I just want that one Furby. My father camped out at a Toys R Us and he found me that Furby. He got that Furby for me. Then he showed up to the house. I'm talking about months of searching for a Furby. He showed up to the house. It was three or four o'clock in the morning and I used to have bunk beds with my sister. And my father came and he patted me on the leg or the arm or something and he was holding up the Furby at three, four in the morning. I started crying. It was the best Christmas memory ever. I will never forget how I felt that moment, how I felt at that moment. I will never forget the sacrifice that my parents made for that. I loved that Furby so much well i asked my parents please can i hold on to my furby um, until christmas i won't open it i just want to carry around the box and my parents I, god bless them i don't even know why they let me but they let me carry around the box for weeks they just let me carry around the box and the furby um if you guys remember the furby it had a hole on the box like for the tummy so you could press the tummy and wake him up well all i i would just stick my finger in there and just like massage a little a little belly and that's what i would do all day every day for weeks until christmas arrived i used to dress up my furby i used to make my grandmother make my furbies tuxedos and like bow ties like i took my furby everywhere my furby and my pinky took them everywhere i was obsessed with furby question number four favorite christmas movie like for real for real jingle all the way i know i can recite every single line of that movie from the first line, actually, from the instrumental part of the movie beginning all the way to the end credits, the song of the end credits, and then like the little bonus scene at the end. I can recite the entire movie in its totality without messing up. I'm talking two plus hours of lines. I can be rehired and I can play all the characters in that movie. I am obsessed with Jingle All The Way, Turbo Man turbo time that's my favorite superhero by the way hold on let me show you my favorite superhero i love turbo man 
Question number five, my favorite Christmas songs. Obviously, you know I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna plug in my album, Little Toy Soldiers, if you haven't already. I have a Christmas album out, and it's not just any Christmas album. It is the best Christmas album. There's three tracks on that. It's Little Toy Soldiers, which was written by me and produced by Luis Cancion. He's amazing. He is the, per he's like the producer of all my music and all that stuff. So, but it was written by me. Um, we have Dancing in the Snow, also written by me. And then we have Happiest Christmas Tree, which is a Nat King Cole original. So the fact that I had the opportunity of um, covering that song and uh, it's just fantastic. So those are my three songs. Um, so make sure that you check it out on iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, iHeartRadio. Like I'm on everything. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram. It's por donde quiera. So those are my favorite Christmas songs. Now, if I had to pick another Christmas song that is not mine, that is my favorite, Happiest Christmas Treat by Nat King Cole, which is one that I cover. Question number six, what do I eat on Christmas? Um, but we usually have moro, which is the rice that comes with the black beans already mixed in. We do moro, we do puerco or lechon. Um, we do maduros, we do freaking everything. I personally, I love turkey dinner. Like my mom makes the best turkey in the world. Um, so I would love to just do like a Thanksgiving meal on Thanksgiving and then Thanksgiving meal on, um, on Christmas Eve. Um, that's what I like to do. I know that's what a lot of like, um, a lot of cultures do. I would like to stick to that because I like Thanksgiving meals. I'm not a big fan of Christmas Eve meals. I'm good with Thanksgiving. Question number seven, do you do pajamas or do you do clothes? Pajamas. And honestly, the, the more ripped up, the better. Listen, my mom used to dress both my sister and myself every single year, excuse me, every single year for Christmas, Christmas Eve. We used to be dressed up all the time, like the puffy dresses and all that. Now, like, I don't know. I have to, like, props to that woman. I don't know how she had the the energy. I don't know how she had la fuerza de voluntad to get up and get dressed and do her hair and slap on those pantyhose and those skin tight, like, pencil skirts with the blazers. No way. My mom looks at me when I come out of the room on Christmas. She's like, Mommy, don't have a little bit I'm like, Mom, please, you're lucky I even picked up my hair. You should have seen it before I got out of the room. Like, Maybe I should though, because it makes you feel better about yourself. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. Best Christmas gift ever, question number eight. So you already know that my parents gave me the Furby. Another gift that I got, it wasn't on Christmas, but the, one of the best gifts I ever got uh, was Pinky, my little Pinky. I have her with me, that little Pinky travel, I'll show you now, but she goes everywhere with me. Like I love her, that's like my BFF, um, my kids and my husband, and my mom, my dad, my sister, but that's my BFF. Um, my the best gift i ever got however i was very emotional about it um uh, my husband when we we just started dating um for christmas he got me an ipod and i could not believe i remember opening it and like my mom looked at me my sister looked at me my dad looked at me and i looked at me and i was like i can't believe this guy just gave me an ipod like my mind was blown because i had never i mean outside of my parents but i had never ever had anybody think of me like that like and then he was like, I was just in shock. Best gift ever. And it had nothing to do with it being an iPod. I had just never in my life, besides my parents, my sister, my family, I had never had anyone like that think of me like that, ever, ever. Um, I was always a person who gave gifts. I was always a person. So like I had never had somebody like put all their little money together, you know, work the amount of hours. He was working like like an animal he was working going to school full time like he would get no like he was literally running on zero hours of sleep working like an animal so that he could put enough money together to get me that i had never in my life seen anybody work as hard as my mother and my father until i met my husband like he is such a hard worker and literally anybody who knows him will tell you that he is like he is a hard worker. So when he gave me that, I just, I'm like, like he saved up everything so that he can get me this. It was like the most meaningful thing because it just meant a lot. Question number nine, worst gift ever. Question number 10, if I could spend Christmas in any place, what would it, where would it be? New York City. Question number 11, do you have New Year's resolutions or do you make New Year's resolutions? I do. Every single year, uh, a day or two before New Year's, I sit down with the entire family and we all make vision boards. Things that we really, really want to do in the new year. I used to have like these 
like these um, resolutions that I would kind of say out loud, like, oh yeah, like I want to do this and I want to do that. Nothing ever happened. I am telling you, if you guys have never done a vision board, I promise you this year, take some time to create your own vision board. You can get creative with it. You can put it in a frame so you can hang it really nice. You can do it on a, like a cardboard, wherever you want. Create a vision board. And I promise you that a lot of the things that you've been wanting to accomplish, you'll accomplish. I don't know what the miracle is behind it. I don't know if it's because you see it. So you start making uh, subconsciously, you start making decisions that will lead you towards these goals. But ever since I started doing these things, I'm a new me. Next question, real or fake trees? Personally, I like fake trees. I like fake trees because um, less mess. Um, I know what my Christmas tree is gonna look like every year. It's a couple hundred dollars that I save, um, although I spend it on other things, but I just like the fake trees because it just, it looks put together. It looks good. I don't have to water it. I don't have to worry about it, worry about it dying. Um, and if I want that smell of sap, I'll just go to the Dollar Tree and buy a whole bunch of little sticks that you put in the tree, y palante. Like, I really don't care. I really don't care. But I do like going to the Christmas tree farms and taking pictures there. I like to smell it. I like to touch the sap and then I go like this and I go. I love it. Probably one of my favorite questions from the entire Q&A. Online shopping or in-person shopping? You already know what I'm gonna answer, and that's in-person shopping. I love the malls during the holiday season. I'm not joking, I'm not joking. I love to go to Dolphin Mall during Christmas. Dolphin Mall, I love Dolphin Mall during Christmas. I love being, I love getting to a mall and not finding parking right away while I'm sipping my Starbucks with the music blasting. I love walking into the mall and like everybody's like running around. It's like the hustle and bustle of like, I love that. And it brings me back to New York City and why I love New York City so much. That's why I love it. Like I love that running around, that like Christmas spirit. Um, I absolutely adore it. People think I'm borderline insane. And the last question, what is my Christmas pet peeve? I have a pet peeve in general. Um, I'll get to a specific one for Christmas, but I hate it. Like, you know how people go ah! on the chalkboard? Okay, that's not an issue to me. You know how people get the fork and they go ah! on the fork, on the plate? That's not an issue to me. What drives me mad that I will literally tell a person, I could be talking to whoever, President of the United States, if they do this in front of me, I will literally say, Bata. It's when people get a paper and they fold it. I gotta show you. People get papers and they fold it and they go like this with their nail to... <gasps> Horrible sensation. It's the worst. That is a huge pet peeve. However, my Christmas pet peeve, I like to plan things out down to the millisecond. Literally down to the millisecond. I, like, I plan like for you to get an idea, I will plan my pajamas because we'll do like the family pajamas for sure. Um, depends how, how I feel. Sometimes I get there and I'm like, I right, whatever, give me the broken t-shirt. I'm fine with that. But I will plan, plan it. What ends up happening ends up happening. But anyways, I will plan my pajamas to match my gift wrapping, my tree to match my gift wrapping, my, my everything to match everything. So when something doesn't happen, according to how I did it. So guys, that is it for my Christmas Q&A, my get to know me Christmas edition. Um, and I really, really, really want to tag a couple of you guys in there. I just don't know who's doing Vlogmas. Um, I know one of my dear friends, Suli from Suli's World, she's doing Vlogmas, so maybe she wants to jump on this and do like this Christmas tag. Um, but other than that, Ask yourselves these questions. I love Q and A's because I love to see what I would answer initially. Sometimes I'll go back and be like, no, actually I take that back. I would actually do this. But my initial reaction, I get excited to see what's the first thing that would pop out of my mouth. So anyways, thank you guys so much for following along Vlogmas Day 16. I will be here tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 17. Um, and I'm really excited. I got some things planned for this weekend for the girls. So let's see. Thank you guys for following along and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.